Now let's take a look at Module 1, Developing Quality Online Courses Based on Alignment. From this point on, anytime the learner or the faculty goes inside of a learning module, um, they'll see uh, the, an, introdu an introduction page, which will list the learning objectives and then an overview of what the module is about. The second page will list the quality matters standards and which standards um, that which standards that will be addressed inside of that particular module. So this um, the topic for this module is about developing quality online courses based on alignment. So we'll see inside of the table of contents that it talks about quality matters. Um, its um, significance at University of Houston, alignment, backwards design, um, learning objectives. Um, and if you scroll that, if you look down a little bit more, there will um, always be some type of activity, uh, self-check quiz, and assignment. Now the modules usually have text um, accompanied by some graphics, and sometimes there will be um, multimedia or videos um, to supplement some of the information. So I'm just skipping through the module really quickly just so that you can see um, what some of the content might look like. And whenever a module, we feel like a module has a little bit too much stuff, uh, we make some of the things optional. Now, every module will include some type of self-check quiz. And this is just a, a learning activity that we include for, in each of the modules to help reinforce the objectives and the content. Um, and we also designed it using the Blackboard test tool so that faculty can have the experience of taking a Blackboard test um, as a student. So let's just click to launch it and um, see what happens. The first thing the faculty will see is that uh, this test can be saved and resume later. And this test allows multiple or unlimited attempts. And we made it this way because um, this is just an activity um, uh, to reinforce, you know, the content that the faculty is going through. And it's not for a grade, so everything is um, counted as zero points. So um, we made it multiple choice questions, and um, as you go through and select the questions, uh, you'll see that the questions get automatically saved. Or you can press the save answer button and it will manually save it. And then you'll see a question completion status bar up here. I'm just going to go through and uh, randomly select the answers so that um, you can see what happens when we submit t the test. Okay, so now I'm ready to make sure that all my answers are saved and then save and submit. So I, I'm taken to a screen that shows how much time I used up. I used up less than a minute. Um, and then I press OK to see the results. Here I can see how many points I earned and whether or not um, my answers were correct. And uh, we set it up so that the learner gets to see, uh, gets to be, is able to review the, the question that was asked uh, and the answers that were given. And um, we also made it um, automatically grade and to automatically give uh, response feedback. And so here we try to model uh, what it could look like when you give feedback. Uh, so we state whether or not the answer is correct or incorrect and why it's correct or incorrect. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm gonna go back. And I return back to this page where I could, if I wanted to, take the, this quiz again. 
but I'm going to move on to the next page. Um, and in each of the learning modules, uh, it always includes with some type of assignment to wrap up the module. Uh, for this particular module, the, assi <clears throat> the assignment was to write learning objectives for the course. And we designed this assignment or this activity using the Blackboard um, assignment tool so that faculty can get the experience of what it's like to submit an assignment from the student perspective. And so here they can write their text submission or attach a document or PDF to it and press submit. But I'm going to press cancel and it takes me back to the introduction page. So that's just um, you know an overview of what uh, most modules look like inside of the online teaching program.